Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor and YouTube, where the watches are the stars. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and in this video, we are finally proud and happy to be able to present you the Blancpain 50 Fathoms, to be precise, free watches, free 50 Fathoms, and these watches were presented by Blancpain last year to celebrate the 70th anniversary of that iconic diving watch. Why are we so late? That's an easy answer I can give you. We just were able in December, end of December, to film these watches, all three watches. I insisted I wanted to film all the three watches and not one by one. I wanted to have them with the packaging and it's only in December we got the possibility. So please forgive us that we are a little bit late, but still enjoy the video that uh, Jorge, our cameraman and editor has been putting together for you. Before we start, we have to look back a little bit in the history of Blancpain. And to be precise, we will now go back in the 1950s when diving became more and more popular. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. More and more professional diving gear was available at that time but not yet the professional diving watch. And it was Blancpain's co-CEO Jean-Jacques Fichte who then created the 50 Fathoms. He was no less than an iconoclast. It was him who really fought how the first real diving watch should look like. Of course, there were some earlier attempts by others to develop a diving watch, but they all missed the mark in the end. Fichte understood the problem in ways that had eluded others. He was a passionate diver himself, and this, I think, is the key point. He was a passionate diver in an era when diving was largely the prominence of professionals, overwhelmingly military, with a very few amateurs like himself. His personal experiences as a diver, including, and this I think was probably the day when he really started to heavily think about how should such a watch look like, running out of air while on a dive illuminated the requirements demanded by people diving. A patented system for protecting the case back seal, a novel system for the crown seal, also patented of course, a large size and white luminous hands and markings against a black background for excellent readability. One of the key features a diving watch should have excellent readability, a locking rotating basal for the timing of the dives and automatic winding to protect against wear of the crown. The 50 Fathoms was one of the first watches in the world to offer these features. It set the enduring standards for what a diving watch had to be. Soon the 50 Fathoms was adopted by leading militaries around the world, such as the French, the American, the Germans, Israeli, Norway's and many others. There's one last remark I want to make here is when Fichte developed the 50 Fathoms, it was during a time when the rest of the watch industry had essentially turned its back on even considering making a professional diving watch. The leading, <laughs> this is funny, indeed the leading French watch company at the time went so far as to decline to make a diving watch for the French Navy, declaring diving watches have no future. Can you imagine? Diving watches have no future. Fichte was in all respects a contrarian, ignoring the trends at the time that favored dress and aviation watches. So thank you, Mr. Fichte, for your contribution in the world of diving watches. Of course, thank you to all the others who contributed that we today are able to buy such excellent, reliable diving watches. And the three ones you are going to see in this video, as we can proud say, are among the best ones you can get if you are a diver and you are interested in diving. Especially, this is something you will discover in the video, the 50 Fathoms Tech Gombessa, which offers a feature 
No other diving watch so far offered. Use the comment section to ask your questions and let us know what you think about diving watches. If you are keen to learn more about the history of the Blanc Pain 50 Fathoms, we highly recommend you to watch two videos. The links are in the description and I also will pin them in the comment section. The two videos have been produced by a colleague of mine, Jeffrey Kingston, and they are really, really worth being seen. So enjoy them and there you will be able to discover really all the details we couldn't show in this video because, yeah, we are focusing as I said before, on the free watches to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the 50 Phantoms. From right to the left, Act 1, Act 2 and Act 3. The free watches Blanca launched last year to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the 50 Phantoms. Act 1 was sold last year in January online only and those of you who probably tried to get one know that three times 70 pieces were sold and uh, to distinguish these watches you had Series 1, Series 2 and Series 3 written on the display. Series 1, 70 pieces got to Europe and Middle East, another 70 pieces to North and South America and Series 3, these 70 pieces, they were sold in Asia and Oceania. So 210 pieces worldwide sold out. The watch is completely sold out. I have heard that some of these watches appeared also on the gray market and people are now trying to sell them for almost double of the price. The watch, when it was sold online, was sold for 17,510 euro, including 19% VAT. It is a 50 fathom in a steel case. The diameter of the case is 42.3 millimeter. The thickness of the case is 14.3 millimeter. The case is waterproof up to 300 meter as always with a 50 fathom and if you are now asking yourself the lug to lug distance yeah we have been measuring it is 48 millimeter and one interesting measurement we always give in our videos is the dial aperture and the dial aperture is 29 millimeter so the entire watch has a diameter of 42.3 but the dial is only 29 millimeter. In between the locks, we have been measuring 21.5 millimeter. If you then turn around the watch, you are getting a perfect view on the Blanc Power Calibre 1315. It is a 4 hertz movement with 120 hours of power reserve. This is a typical Blanc Pain 50 Fathoms. You get what you expect. You have an incredible, incredible look also in darkness. So the loom shot is simply amazing when you look at this watch and yeah, it is just stunning, you have to say. The 50 Fathoms is worn on a woven NATO strap with a stainless steel pin buckle and just looks great when you are having it on your wrist. So once again, three times 70 pieces. This was act one. Let's talk about act two. Act two is not a limited watch. The watch is available if you are interested in buying one. Blancpain limits the production to about 150 pieces per year. That's not an artificial limitation, it's a limitation due to the complexity of the watch. The watch is available, it is sold for 28,450 euro, including 19% VAT if you're interested. It is, and if you look closely on the dial, a 50 Fathom, but it distinguishes itself from the others having a another prominently positioned hand on the dial. There is a hand with a white green arrow in differentiation to the rest of the orange dial and it is another minute hand and I will in the video explain you what this minute hand is for and why the graduation on the basal is up to three hours and not only one hour. But first of all, let me give you the technical information about the watch. It is a satin brush, titanium case to be precise. The diameter of this watch is 47 millimeters. The thickness is 14.81 millimeter. 
The log to log distance is 53. There are no real logs, but we have been measuring the length of the watch and yeah, it's 53 millimeters. And interesting always to know is the dial aperture. And here it is 34, 34 millimeters. So good visibility. If you turn the watch around, you get a perfect view on the movement. The Blanc Bar Calibre moved is the 13 P8. It is a 4 hertz movement with a power reserve of 122 hours. And as all these movements, I didn't mention it with Act 1, they all feature a silicon hairspring and therefore these movements or the entire watch is pretty anti-magnetic. So it is protected against magnetism quite well. Now let's come and talk about the Basil, why is that Basil featuring a graduation up to three hours? What is the second minute hand doing here on the dial? Let me explain you this. The Tech Dive or the 50 Fathoms Tech Gombesa is conceived for technical diving. The difference, the main difference is that with normal diving, when you are using compressed air, you are mostly not longer in water than an hour. So normally diving, you have enough time with one hour being displayed on the basal. But tech diving's main difference is that when you exhale the air, you are not seeing any bubbles because what you exhale is reused. Oxygen is mixed to it. It's done automatically and the diver can then stay much longer on the water up to three hours. And there is no diving watch so far on the market that is able to measure this time. And this is why Blancpain designed this watch. The gear train is conceived in a way that the second minute hand, the black one with the prominent white dip will make a full turn in three hours. You position, you line up the basal with that hand and once I will I'm turning now back and forward a little bit so you can see that the hand is moving and what happens now once a half an hour has elapsed the minute hand the regular minute hand of the watch moves forward one a half an hour the additional minute hand will then also display 30 minutes and so on it will move on for one hour and then you will see it displays one hour and it moves forward for one and a half hours and you will see that this hand will show one hour and 30 minutes and this continues up to three hours with two hours and two hours and 30 minutes and so you see when you are doing a tech dive how much time has elapsed already and so you can perfectly plan your dive and you do always have an additional security and you cannot do any mistake because once you have correctly been aligning the basal before starting your dive and then you start your dive you will see that this additional minute hand always continuously moves on and shows you how much time has elapsed. Let me show you this three hour move once again. In this case uh, the uh, additional minute hand is positioned at mostly at 10 o'clock. So we are again aligning the basal correctly so that we know when we are Starting our dive, it is now perfectly aligned. It is 2.30 in the afternoon and then you can follow on your screen when I move the minute hand that the, yeah, you see it now when I start moving the minute hand, you see that after 30 minutes, the hand now is, yes, completely aligned with the other one and it shows 30 minutes. We started at 2.30, it's 3 o'clock. So it's easy, you can follow it on your screen um, and it enables you, it's one hour now, and you see we started 2.30, it's 3.30, and so on. now it's 4 o'clock, one hour and 30 minutes, and so on. So it really helps the diver to easily read the elapsed time and gives him additional security. You get what you need, and you know how much time elapsed when diving. The Blancpain Tech Gobessa is worn on a rubber strap and comes with that beautiful suitcase. It's a technical suitcase, waterproof suitcase, dustproof suitcase. You can either use for the watch and if you want to use this suitcase for other purposes inside, you arrange the space you want 
and then you can use it also for your photographic equipment if you want or other diving equipment you can easily put it in there and of course there's a travel pouch coming along with it so you don't have to carry always the entire suitcase there's also a magnifying glass and a little dive book so you can memorize your dives and of course if you are wearing a wetsuit or whatsoever you find enough additional rubber strap to adjust the length to the size of the wetsuit or of your wrist if needed I already said it before, the 50 Fathoms Tech Gombesa is not limited. It is just a limited production at Blancpain. The watch is available and is sold for 28,450 euro, including 19% VAT. Fifty Fathoms Seven Seas Anniversary Act Three. That's a limited edition of five hundred and fifty-five pieces. Five five five. The watch was presented in September last year and is still available. So if you're interested, this watch is not sold out yet. The watch, as you see it on your screen, is sold for forty-two thousand four hundred fifty euro, including. 19% VAT. It is a 41.3 millimeter satin brushed 9 karat bronze gold case. The thickness is 13.3 millimeter. The case is waterproof up to 300 meters. The lug to lug distance we've been measuring is 52 millimeters. And the so called dial aperture is 29 millimeter. In between the logs, we've been measuring 20 millimeters. When you turn the watch around, you get a view on the Blancpain Caliber 1154.P2. It is a free words movement with a silicon hairspring, as all the other movements featured in this video. And the power surface 100 hours. So from the design, the watch is paying tribute to the Tornag railway watches that were used by the US Navy. Yeah, it's a cool design. I would say a particular watch in terms of look. It is a satin brush 9 karat bronze gold case that will, with time, of course, change its look a little bit, but it is more or less stabilized bronze, so you will not see excessive green and brown changes coming along. It will get some patina, yes, but not too much. So it will individually, upon how you're using it, what you're doing with the watch, then change its look a little bit. That's good because every watch will, end of the day, become very individual because your watch won't look the same as the watch of someone else wearing it in a different way, etc. Etc. Let me now come a little bit to the packaging of the watch. It's a particular packaging. The packaging of Act 3 is inspired by a Rolai Marin case that was used to protect the camera when taking pictures underwater. So this high-tech case was huge, but it had to protect the camera. And Blampa took its inspiration from that case and as you can see it here, the packaging is simply stunning. It is a kind of a remake of that camera in an exceptional way. I've never seen any packaging as this one. You see the watch is showcased behind the, the screen here and just looks gorgeous. That comes along with it, that limited edition of 555 pieces. As I said before, it is not just bronze, but it is a bronze that is mixed with a nine karat gold so it is a precious bronze a much more precious bronze than you normally have on such a watch the watch is worn with that nato reflecting of course the color of bronze and the black of the dial and the basil and as you see also the loom shot is impressive the loom shot of all these watches is simply impressive once you charge the dial with light the loom is long lasting and very prominently visible because as i said it in the beginning of the video the readability is king readability is one of the key features of a good diving watch what do you need a diving watch for to give you accurate timing underwater so you can plan your dives so you know when you're running out of air or in the case of the tech dive, when you have 
past your free hours, readability is king. These watches today, thanks once again to the pioneers at the time in the 1950s, to Jean-Jacques Fichte and all the others who have contributed that we today can buy excellent diving watches. And if you are interested in those Blancpain watches, unfortunately, the Act 1 is sold out. Yep, that's how it is. But Act 2, the tech, the Gombessa tech watch is still available if you are into tech diving and you are thinking about, mm, could be kind of a security I want, you should have a closer look. And yeah, the Act 3 here, I would say is, yeah, nice watch, a little bit maybe a lifestyle watch also. You decide yourself, it is still available, 555 pieces are going to be sold. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video about the free anniversary watches of the Blancpain 50 Fathoms. Please use the comment section to share your thoughts with us, share your thoughts about diving watches, your experiences you had with diving watches. You don't have to focus only on Blancpain, just tell us your story. I'm keen to read all that stuff. I will answer your question if necessary and yeah, be sure to come back as often as you can. Bye bye from my side and see you soon back here on Watch Advisor on YouTube, Instagram and so on. Bye bye.